Hi, I'm Saki and I'm an artist of many trades. I'm a tailor, a sculptor, a painter, a music maker. You get the picture. Anyway, um, <laughs> I want to tell you about my recent art piece. This is Apocalypse. It consists of two steampunk inspired masks, one of them being kind of an elegant gas mask for a post-apocalyptic princess. And the other one is kind of a more classic Plague Doctor mask. Both of these were inspired by COVID lockdown. Um, I really did think for a sec that maybe it was the end of the world. I lost my job when the pandemic hit because all the classes got converted to online, uh, but I still continue to actually make videos, crafting tutorials for my students so they could continue to do their own art at home. As an art teacher, I encourage my students to explore the possibilities and push the limits of their medium. And Apocalypse is an example of this. It's a demonstration of what you can do with very simple crafting supplies. I made these two masks almost entirely out of foam. There is no leather used in either of them, which is great for the cows. Um, but another huge benefit is that they're um, super lightweight. So here's a really quick rundown of the start to finish process of how I made these masks. So first, using old plastic shopping bags and mailing tape, I made a rough sculpture of the shape I wanted and then covered that with duct tape and sketched out the design. I only did half the mask since it's symmetrical. And then I cut it up and turned it into a two-dimensional template, which I transferred to paper. And there was a little bit of math involved to make sure everything lined up correctly, um, so I made those adjustments. And then I cut the pieces out of craft foam and glued everything together with contact cement. Next, I made goggles out of recycled petri dishes. Uh, okay, I used to work at a biotech lab and before I became an art teacher. And don't worry, these petri dishes never touched anything but sterile saline solution. Anyway, petri dishes. <laughs> so here's me doing a quick sanity check to see if it fits. I added a few more design elements, including foam metal rivets. Um, and then I primed it for painting. And this foam is going to transform into leather and metal before your very eyes. <laughs> Here it is painted. Um, finally, I added some weathering to complete the look. Here is before and after weathering to show what a big difference it makes. I always tell my students it's not about having fancy art supplies, it's how much you transform the starting material and working with what you've got. So anyway, that's the completed mask which I ended up taking out with a friend for a photo shoot which we titled The Six Foot Rule. Um, I made kind of a makeshift scythe out of PVC and more foam for this photo shoot. So we took some high fashion shots, but we also took some uh, kind of like enforcement off-duty poses. Anyway, thanks for checking out Apocalypse. Uh, enjoy the rest of the exhibit.